Oh, there we go. Oh my God, it's a monster. Oh my God. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. This is Rolly Cajun Outdoors and I am Rolly Cajun. And y'all already know what time it is. We're about to try to get on some fish. I'm at Town Lake this morning. I'm a little bit late. I, I, I didn't get to sleep till two o'clock last night. I, I had to do some traveling last night. So I just got in at two o'clock. So I'm super late here. I wanted to get here much, much earlier than I am. But uh, I'm here around 8 o'clock, a little after 8 o'clock. We're going to try some spinnerbait action this morning. It should be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to fish for at least two hours until about 10 o'clock. And then it's just going to get too hot to be out here anymore. So that's what that's the plans this morning. We're going to be throwing a small spinnerbait for bass. And maybe some bigger crappie if they're big enough to eat it. Anyways, let's get out here. Let's go try to catch some fish. So I'm not 100% sure what color I should be using. This color right here is really, really awesome. It's about the same colors that I normally use on the Senko here that does really well. But when I was fishing last time here, I was using this one, this natural colored one right here. And this is the one that I was getting uh, bites on. So I think that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and stick with. I'm wondering if I should go with the short juice and white. I'll go with that one. It's almost the same color, except for this one's just got a little bit of blue in it. I'm gonna go ahead and go with what worked last time. It seems to me like that's a better option. So we'll we'll go with that. And then uh, if we don't get very many bites, then we'll chunk this one on, or maybe we'll chunk one of the other colors on and see how that goes. All right, so let's get out here. All right, so let's get out here. Let's go see if we can get some fish. This is definitely an excellent, excellent color. The color pattern on that is really good. They don't hang out underneath the breeze. I haven't had very much luck during the daytime underneath the bridge, so I'm not even gonna bother too much. I will try throwing it a few times here and then we're gonna get going. Looks like someone was trying all kind of lures here and left some extra lures laying around. I'll make sure I take those and make sure that I don't leave them sitting around here. But somebody left this black worm, which is going to be an awesome trailer for this right here. We'll have a dark, we'll have a dark color and a light color all in one, uh, one in lure, one lure. So I think that's going to be pretty good because this water is a little bit murky. So let's see how much of that worm we want on there. I think we're gonna put about half of the worm on it. So we're gonna take this black worm, solid black worm here, feed it through. That's probably a little too much. Just like that. So we got a worm doing some extra action in the back, which is gonna be phenomenal. Yeah, we'll grab those lures and throw them away whenever uh whenever we're leaving Woo! a huge carp down there big old orange carp He's enormous. That was a big old carp. I've seen him before in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't get a good hit hook set on him. He was little though. He was pretty little. But that's a good sign that we're getting hits already. That's a good sign because I was a little bit worried because the last time I, last evening I fished over here, I had gotten a bite within like the, past, the first couple of minutes. So I guess that was just probably luck. 
but I always had really, really good, really good luck here in the evening times. I've never done good fishing in the morning here for some reason. I don't know why, but it seemed like they all, every time I always come out here, they always want to bite in the evening time and not in the morning. So it's actually extremely awesome to see that I've gotten a bite in the morning because I have not caught fish in the morning here any time that I've ever been. So I finally found the lure that they want right now is a spinnerbait. Now I don't know what the heck they're gonna want during the winter time, probably a Cinco or something slower. So we'll, uh, we'll screw around with some Cinco's more after it starts getting cooler. But for right now, we're gonna stick with the spinnerbait until they just quit quit eating the spinnerbait and then we'll, then we'll get on to something else. Because the spinnerbait's what they want. This is the uh, only lure that they really want right now because they're, they're tearing the spinnerbait up. I finally found the summertime lure for this uh, lake, spinnerbait. I'm gonna have to start setting the hook a little bit better because uh, I, got a, I got a trailer hook on here, so I got two hooks. There is no reason I should have missed that fish. I'm doing some really terrible hook sets, what's going on. I might have to practice my hook sets a little bit better. Oh, that's a big one I missed the other day that's been uh, hanging around this area. Oh my god, my heart's racing right now. Oh man, look at her. Oh my god. Oh man, look at that bass. Oh yeah, that's definitely the one I missed the other day. Holy shit. Spinner bait, baby. Oh my God, y'all, look at that bass. Oh, <laughs> look at how big it is. That is the biggest bass I have ever caught. That is definitely a personal bass. We're gonna weigh her here in a second and see just how big, how big she is. Actually, she's not my biggest. She's about three pounds. She's actually one pound less than my biggest. Three pounds even. Oh my God. This is the biggest bass I've caught in a long time though. Let's get out here and let's go get our release. All right, let's get a nice release on her. And make sure that she's got plenty of oxygen before we let her go. There you go, free that up, get that up. There you go, there you go, she's off. Woo, man, three pound bass. I have not caught a bass that size in so long. Man, it's a nice bass. All right, so y'all check this out. I was in the water, making sure that she's got plenty of uh, air. I kept bringing her, I had to bring her down there like three or four times because I was trying to get this tripod set up, make sure that I wasn't gonna leave her out of the water too long. And this lure was sitting down there, right close to the bank. This is an awesome little lure right here. All it needs is a couple of hooks. I just got a free lure, all I gotta do is clean it up. It's been out there for a long time. I actually thought that it was a dead shad. I was like, man, they ain't gonna have no shad in this, uh, in this place here. Why would they have shad here? And sure enough, I, I went and reached down and grabbed it while I had the fish in my hand. And it's a, it's a, uh, it's a good, uh, good lure right there. I'm gonna get some hooks on that. And one of these days, we'll try that out for something. Well, that finishes up that video. That was absolutely awesome. I do still think that that was my uh, personal best. I think that that fish was actually bigger than the one that I thought was four pounds when I was younger. 
I kind of guessed what the uh, size was of the fish. I fished all the time bass fishing when I was younger. So I was pretty good at guessing the weight and all that. But the one that I caught way back then was way more skinnier than this one. So I actually think that this is actually my best, uh, personal best bass. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the three pounds being my personal best because back then I didn't have a weight scale. I just guessed at it. So I had no idea what it actually weighed. But uh, that was absolutely awesome. That was my very best bass that I've ever caught. It was awesome. It was a fun experience. Sadly, I only caught that one bass and I missed one. I didn't get any more bites after that. I got there a little bit too late in the morning. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, join the Cajun family, get the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Share the video, leave some comments below if you got any questions. Until next time, everyone, tight line.